ecologically correct love poem. It's called <laughs> The Present. And this is, I don't know, well, maybe the poem explains itself. We created models. This is a moment of happiness. This is a maple-lined street. It's yellow median line littered with double wings. Someday we might know such things in our real lives, not just in desire. We invented Cherry Field, Maine, nine pearl gray villas with sagging porches held together by coats of paint. Behind the scrim of birches, the middle branch river glittered like the galvanized roof to a tackle shed. We were quick and replicated a shack with a chalk sign, chops, smelts, croakers. There was barely time to read it before it whirled into the past. And she who was driving said, we know the coming disaster intimately, but the present is unknowable. Which disaster, I wondered, sexual or geological, but I was shy. Her beauty was like a language she didn't speak and had never heard. Then we were in Holy Field, and it was the hour when the child waves from a welcome mat, his eyes full of longing before turning inward to his enforced sleep. We waved back, but we were gone. The hour when two moths bump together above a pail of lures. The hour when the Coleman lamp flickers in the screen house above the blur of cards being shuffled and dealt amazingly fast. All my life I have been dying of hope and self-pity, and an unknown force has been knitting me back together. It happens in secret. I want to touch her, and I touch her, and it registers on the glittering gauges that make the car darker and swifter, and we come to the mountains, and this is all I ever wanted to enter the moth's pinhead eye, now and never return. 